show. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh my God. Stop. Oh my so goodness. that's that reminds me, or is it parallel to someone like a Rick Ross buying into like the Wingstop and Absolutely. giving them to his children? Absolutely. It's the same that's concept. Powerful. And so that's that's a lot of the talks that we don't have. Like I said, our communities were taught to struggle till you make it, work as hard as you can. No, I mean, that's a good motto to have. Mm. Sure, you want good work ethics, yes. but it's not always the best way to gain wealth. And we want to Correct. talk about generational wealth yes. and being able to pass things down. You want to hand someone something that's ready to go. Yes. When large corporations, so when, when black entrepreneurs do build their businesses up to large corporations status, the large corporations aren't going to compete with them. They're just going to buy them out. Mm -hmm. So That's you do exactly all the hard work of building the business up, and then mm -hmm. you can't compete with a large corporation. They're going to buy you out anyway. Exactly. It's the same concept. Exactly. So we're just teaching the everyday people how they can think like a CEO of a large corporation. And that's what we were talking about with the with my guest previous to you is working smarter, not exactly. working harder, exactly. which we were taught from birth. Work hard. Mm -hmm. Like, no, work smart. Work smart. Work exactly. smart. So what practical steps do you suggest for businesses aiming to grow and expand, particularly in competitive markets? 